Okay, fellow gamers, welcome back to Dice Treasures, the ultimate destination for all things tabletop fun. Get ready to embark on a roller coaster of excitement uh, through the virtual realms and unveil mind blowing board games inspired by your favorite video games, all set to hit shelves in 2024. Let's start with Apex Legends, uh, the board game. This is a strategic masterpiece for 1-6 to six players, uh, where each 60-90 to 90 minute sessions unfold in a riveting dance of tactical brilliance. Melding innovation with the spirit of this video game counterpart, this board game artfully captures the essence of the Apex Legends. Amidst the dynamic King's Canyon map, players embody unique legends, navigating a symphony of combat, looting and heroic deeds. The strategic ballet involves activating legends, employing their abilities and unique feat cards to form strategic teams, while reactions and instant cards add layers of a tactical narrative. I love those highly crafted miniatures, iconic map that is transformed into dynamic, constantly shifting and changing 3D game arena. With real life containers, supply drops, respawn points and portals, wow, they look super cool. This game is just mind blowing. It looks even more exciting than the actual video game. I just love it. It's 10 out of 10. And you know, fellow gamers, uh, 2024 is promised to be an epic year, because the next game is epic. I'm talking uh, none other than Company of Heroes 2nd Edition. Yes, guys, this board war game is inspired by the acclaimed video game from Relic and uh, Sega. This refined experience mirrors the tactical brilliance of uh, this digital uh, predecessor as players navigate uh, units uh, through intense battles uh, to seize control points and amass crucial resources. The second edition alleviates gameplay with meticulously adjustments, uh, offering a larger scale battles and uh, enriched array of units, uh, new maps like Ardennes Forest and Mora River and improved rules. That's fantastic and uh, shaped by extensive community feedback, which is very important. This edition achieves a polished equilibrium, emphasizing faction distinctiveness, allowing uh, to experience the art of the war at its finest. Well, I guess you are probably as same excited as I am, because we are talking about strategic war game legend here. Yes, indeed, Company of Heroes is one of the best World War II strategy games ever created. I'm very, very excited to see this game appearing on the market. And now, guys, prepare for an immersive espionage adventure as iconic characters come to life in this fantastic, iconic, full cooperative miniature experience. Metal Gear Solid, the board game, yes guys, it's coming. It is an intricately designed fully co-op miniature adventure for 1-4 to four players set against the backdrop of the famous Metal Gear Solid video game, where players embody iconic characters. Maneuvering through a maze of espionage, their unique skill sets are put to the test in a variety of uh, campaign scenarios. This exciting experience is elevated by advanced AI system and uh, extensive sandbox, ensuring each mission is a dynamic and unpredictable journey. Yes, that's cool. I love what developers did with miniatures. They look great, just stunning. The game board a little bit reminds me a board from the such games like Resident Evil, Doom or Wolfenstein, but it's definitely a plus to this game. And the gameplay fully mimics video game captivating gameplay. That's great. It's very cool. I'm very excited about this title and uh, I'm strongly aiming to get this game on my table. What would you say if we would shift our attention a little bit uh, to the fantasy realm with city building elements? What do you say? 
Can you strategically manage resources, fortify defenses and cast the last spell to cleanse the world? The last spell, the board game, yes! It's a masterful adaptation of Ishta Games video game where you embody a seasoned warrior on a noble mission to protect the last enclave of mages and cast a pivotal last spell to cleanse the world of magic. Set against the haunting post-apocalyptic backdrop, strategic resource management is a key to survive across three day and night cycles, where you must strategically place characters and fight monsters. Game contains cool RPG elements and you can not only level up your characters, but also upgrade city defenses, bolster your economy and empower heroes through equipment upgrades. Whether tackling standalone scenarios or engaging in a challenging campaign, a diverse arsenal of weapons and abilities promise a rich, unfolding narrative. Game looks neatly designed with cool miniatures and the square grid and the familiar gameplay elements that I loved from the first sight. It's another strong candidate sitting in my wishlist. Next title with its franchise has dominated the gaming universe since the start of this millennia. It's massive, it's branching literally in all 20th centuries conflict, has crowds of dedicated fans all over the world on any gaming platform available and now it's made its way to the tabletop. I'm talking about Call of Duty the board game! This tactical combat game will immerse you in a competitive combat on iconic maps like Shoot House, embodying renowned operators such as Ghost Riley or Captain Price. Each round demands swift decision making from audacious head to head engagements to stealthy maneuvers. Yes! You must craft a personalized combat deck reflecting your tactical powers and unleash explosive surprises as combat unfolds swiftly, offering choices between reckless firepower, meticulous aim or evasive finesse. Game features immediate response and it will last from 45 to 90 minutes, which I find found impressive for this kind of skirmish game. And I was even more pleasantly surprised to find out that you can combine core sets to play 4 player matches. And all that is planned to be enhanced by expansions throughout new maps, operators, weapons and game modes, with customizable loadouts, secret action planning and the simultaneous player dance. All that looks really, really cool. What do you think? But hey, before we plunge back into the tabletop pixel fields, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you will never miss out the latest and greatest in the board gaming universe. But now let's get back to the games. Have you ever dreamed of a fantastic journey where death is just a beginning? And each choice leaves an indelible mark on your fate? This game is based on a popular roguelite, uh, Metroidian-inspired action platformer. That sells uh, the roguelite uh, board game. It's a collaborative uh, dungeon crawler seamlessly blending Metroidian inspiration. Tailored uh, for 1-4 to four players, each 45-minute gaming session unfolds on the ever-shifting Dead Cell Island, uh, demanding exploration, combat, resurrection, mutation and relentless uh, repetition of all of that. In the game you choose one of four enigmatic protagonists and navigate a labyrinth castle, confront adversaries with unique power sets and action cards, acquiring resources while managing finite health. Death is not final, cells persist, allowing permanent mutations for enduring strengths. This captivating cycle, elegantly orchestrated by a collector, 
promises a perpetual adventure of vengeance and discovery in dynamically involving gaming experience. Game has a feeling highly colorful artwork, a nice and neat game board and a lot of cards. Absolutely number one choice for Dead Cells fans and those who enjoy exploration, adventure and fantasy card driven games. Absolutely stunning game. But hey, before we spin the dice into the upcoming gems, uh, I want to hear from you. Which of these uh, game treasures are you most excited about? Uh, drop your opinion in comments below and let's build the excitement together. And now let's jump back into the ocean of gaming. Next board game is based on a such an epic and so much anticipated video game franchise uh, continuation that I even have no words to describe this masterpiece. Stock at the board game! It is an immersive journey into the unforgiving zone, boasting impeccable models and superior components. Meticulously crafted mechanics evoke true tensions and danger, heightening the stakes for players tackling formidable challenges. This game caters to both seasoned enthusiasts and newcomers to narrative-driven board games, drawing inspiration from the Stalker's Campfire law of rich mission-based narrative. As a zone crawler, it accommodates 1-4 to four players seamlessly unfolding missions from enigmatic narrative boxes. The game beacons adventures into the world where every move resonates with consequences, promising a captivating odyssey through its mysterious terrain. And as I am a fan of this iconic video game myself, I cannot describe the joy of placing this game as one of the best and most anticipated board games at the very top of today's list. By the way, what is your favorite video game that you would be super excited to see one day transformed into the video game? Say, I would love to see another Contra board game on my table. Yes, that same retro run and gun style shooter, but this time it could be with a scrolling board idea like in the Under Falling Skies game. What do you think? Share your opinion and suggestions in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and become an active part of a vibrant community. Hit that notification bell to be always informed about new episodes, shorts, polls and quizzes all meant to entertain you. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Have fun playing these wonderful games and stay tuned for the next episode.